Hello everybody, welcome back to Gun Activities 365. I just want to do a quick little video here on five things I think you should get right now. Um, don't put yourself in financial hardship for it. Don't go panicking buying every single thing you see. But I'm just saying that I think these things are going to be either try to get banned some more like they have been and or going to be hard to find later on this year and or in the future. Um, some of this is going to be very common sense. Uh, you know, some people are going to agree. Some people are going to disagree. This is when I look at my gun stuff, this is five things that I think are going to uh, disappear, be in a shortage. Uh, price are going to go way up and or um, they're going to try to keep banning stuff. So number one, the biggest thing that I think that people should try to stock up on is magazines. Um, I know this is not all the magazines I have. This is just stuff that I was messing with, so I decided to go ahead and pull it out here. Um, the magazines in general that I have are any sort of um, aluminum and or uh, PMAG, plastic mag, whatever it may be, um, whether it's hex mags or actual PMAGs or little PMAGs or whatever, um, I have these. I have green tips in there right now, but I usually put better specialty ammo, ammo in there for um, like kind of range days trying to do accurate shooting. I don't try to do super, super accurate shooting with these that have, um, you know, the cheaper ammo in it. So um, all these are loaded here. You can see other than this one, I just haven't got around to putting ammo in it. Um, I try to stock up on a lot of 30 round magazines. I'm allowed to have 30 round magazines, so I'm going to buy them while I'm allowed to buy them. Um, whether my state or across the whole country, whatever they end up trying to do with magazines, um, I think that's, I mean, that's been a thing for years, guys. Everyone knows that, but I think that they're going to try to keep getting rid of them. So grab some magazines while you can. Um, like I said, that's not all of them I have. This is just some stuff. I was putting some new ones in here, putting some bands on them. This one I need to put ammo in. These three I need to put ammo in. Um, I have, I'm not going to lie, I probably have 8, 10, or 12 of these baskets full of ammo. Um, these baskets, I got this uh, clear one. It's a storage deal. Storage bin for the refrigerator is actually what it is. But it fits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 magazines perfectly. These two right here, you can use the, the tall magazines too. They just happen to be in there that way. Um, this, I think I got this at, I don't even know, to be honest, Walmart somewhere. Um, this is how I store some of my magazines. It's easier to, it's easy to grab it, move it around, do what I got to do with it. Um, you can stack them when they're not being used, whatever. So, um, magazines is number one thing. I would go ahead and grab some before they, uh, disappear and or they try to ban them or there's a shortage of them or something. You never know. Um, like I said, guys, this is going to be pretty cut and dry pretty easy um most people um are going to agree some people are going to disagree and most of this is common sense and or common knowledge but just kind of a video for you guys to watch and enjoy the channel and or maybe uh maybe there's someone new to guns the gun world that uh needed this information in the first place so um the second thing is going to be two different things uh, actually three different things um i would say ar-15s and or uppers and or lowers. Um, that's this is all part of number two that I think you should stock up on right now. Um, the reason for that is, guys, they've been trying to ban these forever. They've been trying to make these lower capacity. They're mean guns. This, that, the other. They're not, guys. Um, what I use these for is um, sporting and you know target shooting, hunting, whatever it may be. I don't hurt anybody with any of these, and I don't plan to. I don't hurt anybody with anything I have, and or. Uh, plan to hurt anybody with anything I have. I just, that's how some people see it, and that's fine. I'm, I'm not going to get into that. But um, the second thing I think you should get, like I said, are AR 15s in general, whether you want to buy a whole one or you want to buy a lower and an upper, like I did, and put it together. This is a PSA lower. The lower for you guys, um, the guy, uh, for you, sorry, I was reading a text message on my phone. Um, you guys that are kind of newer, the lower is this mag receiver. Here, the trigger, the grip, down to the buttstock. It pins together. I'm not going to point it out. I'm going to take it to get uh, apart. YouTube doesn't like that. I don't want to deal with it. Um, the upper is this here. Now, what you would do is you would put some sort of optic and or sights, something so you can see. This doesn't have it yet because I'm not done messing with it. But 
Um, so you could buy an upper, you could buy a lower, and or you could buy an entire AR-15. That's completely up to you. Um, same sort of thing with AR-10s. They're gonna they're gonna go after those next. I mean they're they're not hitting them so hard, but they are they're gonna end up there too. Um, whether those, like I said, whether there's a shortage on that, prices go way up, and or uh, they're hard to find, whatever it may be, um, or they ban them. Just get it while you can. Um, something else. This has two parts to it also, and I didn't. Uh, this actually has three parts. Um, and I didn't bring the other two out. So for part number or for number three thing that I think you should stock up on are primers, powder, and casings. So brass, whatever it may be. Um, whatever you need to stock up on for reloading purposes, go ahead and stock up on those things. I don't know what's going on with my phone, the focusing. So sorry if the video is not the best, but it is what it is. Um, reloading stuff like i said those are the three things that are going to be hard to find the dies and the the presses and all that um are i think always going to be easy to find whether they're cheap or not that's completely up to you and um i guess kind of the end user that's up for you to decide but um primers large uh rifle primers been very very hard to find for years now um They've never really came back. They've came back a little bit, but in my area, large rifle primers are very hard to find. So stock up on primers, stock up on powder, and stock up on uh, brass. And that is up to you guys if you want to reload or you do reload or you decide to reload. Um, same thing with that. I don't think they're never going to get banned, in my opinion, either one of those three ever. I don't think, um, in our lifetime anyways, anybody's watching this. But I do believe that... Um, you know, the prices may go up on this and powder and cases. I do believe that um, that they may be hard to find at some point. Also, going off of this, guys, we'll add a fourth thing to number three. Uh, the fourth thing would be projectiles. This does you no good without powders, cases, and projectiles. Cases does you no good without powder, projectiles, and primers. Um if you guys have the three that I was talking about and you don't have projectiles, you, you don't have any you don't have any bullets to shoot. Um, you don't have any rounds to shoot. So kind of four things, I guess. Projectiles, um, powder, primers, and cases. Whether you decide to buy new cases or pick them up their range and clean them. Guys, I'm just saying that, uh, like I said, this is all common knowledge. Kind of everyone knows this, but it's just a video to kind of make and uh, to kind of keep going with the channel. Something that I've been thinking about is just grab the stuff if, if you need it, if you decide to reload. Um, going off of that too, guys, do not be scared to try to reload. Um, don't go on your own and start loading really heavy stuff and, you know, oh, I know what I'm doing. Guys, you don't know what you're doing right away. you got to learn. It's just it's just like a baby or and or a toddler. you got you got to learn how to walk before you can run. Um you got to learn. So don't be afraid, but don't get stupid. If you guys need some help coming on here, myself or someone else will help you. Um, find someone you know that knows how to reload that can teach you. Um, it's kind of fun. It, it's fun to me anyways. Um, next thing that I'm going to say is defensive round. So this is Hornaday 9mm plus P 124 grain XTP. This is cartridge right here and or bullet projectile whatever you want to call it is designed for self-defense it's a jacketed hollow point essentially is what it is um so it is defensive rounds so um defensive rounds are made to defend yourself against um people things stuff whatever you want to call it we're not gonna get too far into it because i don't want to deal with it with the youtube stuff but um and, you know, YouTube's been great. I do want to say that, guys. They, they've been really good with me. They've treated me fair. Um, but I'm not putting out stuff that I shouldn't be also. And I don't do illegal stuff. And if I was going to do that, I definitely wouldn't put it on here. So, um, But YouTube's been pretty good. So I shouldn't complain about YouTube at all. They've been pretty good to me. Um, defensive rounds are something I think that are going to... Um, there's always shortages of them here and there. Just like when there's anything, any sort of ammo is missing... The, the uh, defensive rounds are going to go. They're hard to find. But I think this is something in the future they may try to ban because this causes harm. Um, that's not YouTube saying that. That's just the political bullcrap behind it. This causes harm. Well, yes, it causes harm if it has to. 
I hope that none of my defensive stuff ever has to cause harm to somebody. But if someone's threatening me or my life or and or my family's life, we'll take care of it and do what we got to do. Um, defensive rounds would be number four of something I think you should stock up on. Uh, the fifth thing is not such a big deal, but I... The amount of times I've heard it in the last five, six years that you hunters, I'm a hunter myself, um, not so much, but um, something I want to get into more and something I've done in the past is hunting. Um, the amount of hunting uh, people, hunters that literally haven't been able to find rounds and they wait till the last minute, try to find it and blah, 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 blah. Guys, go get it now. I don't think this stuff's ever going to be banned per se unless it starts unless they get rid of defensive and people start using hunting rounds which are kind of the same thing to be honest but um they're marketed a different way and kind of made a different way but um the amount of times that i've heard people can't find their hunting rounds around november you know whenever whenever deer season or whatever it may be that you hunt whenever that is in place and that time period is there there's people scrambling to look for for their hunting rounds Guys, if all, if all you do is shoot one deer a year, go out and grab 10 boxes. 10 boxes. You use two two boxes a year, you're good for five years. If you want to grab more, do that. But I'm just saying, if you grab 10 boxes, you're good for five years. You use two boxes. You use it, This is an insane uh, number, but we're just going to use it for easy numbers. Um, let's say you use one whole box of sight in your rifle. And you use one whole box to shoot deer. We'll say you miss 19 times. You get that deer with that last one. That's two boxes. It's 20 rounds, 20 rounds, 40 rounds. Um, you have your deer for that year and you had ammo on hand. Um, when it gets closer to hunting time, guys, this stuff tends to disappear. Um, right now is the perfect time to buy this. Prices are not the best, but I don't know if prices are ever going to get better, to be completely honest. I think prices are just going to get worse. But in my area... And the entire part of this, all of this, um, hunting rounds have been fairly easy to find. So if you guys need some hunting rounds, go get them. So that would be my number five thing. So recap real fast. Go get yourself some magazines. If you can have 30-round magazines, get them. If you can't have 30-round magazines, then get what you're allowed to get. And by magazines, I mean AR-15 magazines. I don't think that your kel P-17 or whatever you may have your Canic TP9 SF Elite, whatever it is, your Glock, um, Glock 19, whatever it is, I don't think those magazines are ever really going to be hard to find, but go ahead and get you some AR-15 magazines, whatever uh, round size you are allowed to have. That would be number one. Number two is AR-15s and or uppers and or lowers, however you decide to do that. Third thing, like I said, would be some reloading stuff, projectiles, powder, primers, and cases. Have it on hand if you want to do that. Fourth thing, like I said, is defensive rounds. Sometimes they're in a shortage. I think prices are going to go up on them, and I think at some point they're going to try to get rid of them altogether. Um, this, like I said, isn't such a big deal, but it was just a number five to add to the video. Get your hunting rounds so you have them before you go out, um, before a week before you go out to get a deer or something or sight in your gun or whatever. Just have it on hand, guys. Um, I don't do a lot of deer hunting. But I can tell you right now, I have, I don't even know, like 15 boxes of this. I'm not, I, honestly, I'll probably never have to worry about 30 out six the rest of my life. But I do shoot it quite often just for fun. Uh, I shoot milk jugs with it with full of water. I, I do target practice with it. I do a lot with this stuff other than just hunting. I do a lot of target practice with it. That's why I have so much. But I know I could go to Walmart right now and get 10 boxes of this, whether it's 180 grain or not, kind of depends. But I, I guarantee you I'll get 10 boxes of this month in the next two weeks. Um, just going to Walmart and waiting for them to restock and grabbing it again. So those are the five things I would pick up right now and or soon. Let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know what's going on in your area ammo-wise, um, what's going on in your state, what kind of laws they're trying to do, stuff like that. Um, I've told you guys in the past, I'm going to tell you again, I don't really want to get into the political stuff. I don't care who's president. Um, it 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 does affect me, but it doesn't because they're going to do what they want to do, and there's nothing I can do about that, guys. And that's how I feel about it, but I'm not going to get into that. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know what your five would be. Let me know if you agree or disagree or if you uh, you think the channel's dumb or you like the channel, what you guys want to see on the channel, let me know. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. See you in the next video.